Good day everyone. We will have an introduction for deploying always on availability group on Azure IaaS virtual machines in this video. Let's get started. This is the environment that I'll be deploying in Azure. JBS DC is an IaaS virtual machine that will be provisioned in East US region which will be deployed as a domain controller. JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 are Azure IaaS virtual machines that will be provisioned in East US region. Azure IaaS virtual machine JBS AG3 will be provisioned in Korea Central region. Azure virtual machines JBS AG1, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3 will be part of a Windows cluster called JBS Wiki CLUSD without shared storage. Azure Virtual Machine, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 will be configured using synchronous commit with automatic failover. JBS AG3 on the other hand will be configured using asynchronous commit with manual failover. So one thing to note uh, in this um, environment is that the primary region selected is East US and the secondary region or the DR region that is selected is Korea Central. But in reality, if it is going to be a production deployment, it is always advised that uh, we select a uh, paired region uh, as far as Azure is concerned. So if you look at this particular article, which basically talks about the pairing of uh, all the regions, what I'm able to see is like as far as uh, East US is concerned, its pair region or the partner region is basically West US. And uh, in case if it is going to be in production deployment, then I would have selected the primary region as used US and then the secondary region as West US. But in this case, since it is for learning purpose and for uh, performing demo, I'm uh, uh, selecting the secondary region as um, Korea Central for the primary region of East US, just to uh, make sure like I could uh, see some sort of latency, which will be used at uh, later stage for um, uh, showing um, um, latency related issues as far as always on availability group is concerned but in reality as per recommendation we basically have to utilize the pad regions as far as config configuring always on availability group uh, uh, between these two regions moving on resources related to virtual machine JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 will be hosted in a resource group called JBS Wiki underscore East US and resources related to virtual machine JBS AG3 will be hosted in a resource group called JBS Wiki underscore Korea Central. So what I'm basically doing is like I'm going to have two resource groups. One resource group would be in uh, East US and another uh, resource group would be in Korea Central. So all the resources related to uh, East US will be created in the East US resource group and all the resources in Korea Central like the virtual machines, virtual network subnets, everything will be created in a resource group related to Korea Central. This environment will have a database called uh, JBS Wiki that will be added to the availability group called uh, JBS AG with a listener JBS APP. Database servers uh, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 will be configured using the uh, same virtual network and subnet configuration. And database server JBS AG3 will have a separate virtual network and subnet configuration. And once I create um, uh, these two virtual networks, what I'll do is like I will uh, uh, configure a peering between the virtual network that is on East US and then um, uh, with the virtual network that is created on um, uh, the Korea Central Virtual Network. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.